most realistic Assetto Corsa ever. Oh my god, Assetto Corsa is so realistic. Most realistic mods ever on Assetto Corsa. Assetto Corsa mods, realistic, full motion sim. I've done it. I've I've milked that horse. No, that is not what you do to horses. I, <laughs> you know what I mean. I've done plenty of videos on it. However, the sim is done. The sim has reached its final form, at least for the near future. It has every upgrade I could ever want. It has the new gearboxes. It has the monitor mount. It has the new monitor. It has the actual car wheel. It has everything. It is absolutely insane. <laughs> However, I was reading through my YouTube comments and I couldn't help but notice a bunch of people saying VR, try virtual reality, try VR. I just hit my mic. Sorry about that. I have. And I know a lot of you have actually seen that video. I've done VR a couple times and it's crazy cool, crazy immersive. However, I see some new comments circulating now. Garrett, try the Meta Quest 3. Garrett, have you used the Meta Quest 3? Garrett! I don't know why I'm reading them like this. I got it. I got the MetaQuest 3. This isn't sponsored or anything. I wish it was sponsored. I paid full price for this thing. I say we just do it. I say we just jump on into it. Do I look crazy right now? Because I feel crazy right now. Okay, we're going. Oh, we're sitting in our car. Oh, yep. <laughs> Dude, it looks so much better because I had the Quest 2 before this. The difference is actually crazy the only thing is i'm not sure if you notice a difference or if it's only on the user's end because it has like a higher pixel density or whatever wow i gotta set up hand tracking because i know the the quest 3 has really good hand tracking and pass through but i don't know how to set all that up in a setto wow it's <laughs> this feels weird. This is super weird feeling. We're at the beautiful, I guess you call it just the default, the vanilla drift map here. I want to just get a feel oh, of having the sim move in VR. Because even though I've done VR in a setup before, it has, it's been a while. So I'm kind of just driving the track really quick to uh, feel, you know what? Dude, <laughs> oh, VR is a trip, man. All right, boom. Yep. The VR in combination with the sim moving uh, makes it way more immersive. Like, obviously, the monitor is great, but I'm able to see around more. Like, there's pros and cons to both of them. I will say, because the, the monitor that I have, I guess, is in front of me. <laughs> He's somewhere over here. It is 240 hertz. It's, uh, QHD. <laughs> hold on. I can't multitask. Why well, can't I multitask? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's pros and cons to each, and usually I have about 30 minutes to an hour in VR before it starts kind of fatiguing my brain, which is why I really, really, really like that monitor. However, this, you can't beat this. Like, you can't beat looking around Oh, who's in the back seat? Cool. All right. You know, like it's it's a whole different experience. I'm just gonna try the whole track. I'm a little rusty. I haven't actually played a seto in a couple days. But oh, come on. Ah, I lost it right there. Damn, okay. We'll just start over. Start right here. Oh, I can't wait until this is me in real life. This hat, dude, realistically, this has to be making me better, right? I haven't gone to a track ever in my life, actually, but I feel like based on my somewhat limited knowledge of how drifting works and my experience with the sim, it has to come somewhat naturally. All right, let's try one more full lap. See what happens, and then switch up to a different map. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, it's right there. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. Boy, do I have an excuse for you. Hold on. I'm using a different car. I'm using the DWG Deathwish Garage car pack because you guys said it was way more realistic than what I was using. We have the 180SX out, but uh, it's a good looking car. Look at that. That can be my excuse for why I'm a little bit rusty on the drifting though because it's a way more realistic car that I'm using. So cut me some slack. Now let's go to Drift Playground, one of the other maps I know pretty well. All right, here we are. I was starting to get frustrated at myself because I was like, dude, I swear I used to be better at drifting than this, but I totally forgot that I was trying out a um, 
a new car. All right, let's just see what happens off the bat. Oh, man. You can definitely, without a doubt, I don't know if you can see it, but you can without a doubt feel that it's way less arcadey. I don't know if that actually makes any sense, but you can feel that you're kind of in control of the car and it's not going to drift perfectly unless you drift it perfectly. I would love to be able to get a full lap in this car. I just don't know if I'm capable. Okay. That felt good. Oh! I, <laughs> I tried left foot braking there the last second, and I, I panicked. I was going to hit it. I don't know where to look when I'm talking, because I just I see a car right here, but you guys don't see a car. According to your guys' comments, the DWG car pack was one of the more realistic car packs that there are in terms of, you know, physics and the way the car actually interacts with the environment and everything. So transitioning from the more arcadey and easier to use car pack that I was using to this made it less fun in the fun sense, but more fun in the, oh, it feels like I'm learning sense. Does that make any sense? Like now I'm feeling a little bit less of just like, oh, let's see how fast I can go. Oh, let's see if I can do a perfect lap around the track. And it's more of like, okay, let's feel the car. Let's see what I can learn. Maybe I'm just speaking gibberish, bro. I don't know. I got to feather the gas way more, uh, way more precisely. Oh, I'm all over the place. Come on, bring it back. Just be light on the gas. There it is. This is where I spun out last time, right? There it is. Okay. Oh, I, th I think I was really close to hitting the back of my car on that wall there. Whew. Okay, I feel like, again, I feel like I'm actually learning now. Like, I feel like I'm gathering the knowledge that I would actually gather from my first track day. Except a little bit less, because I'm in my office. Let's try racing. I don't think I've ever actually tried legitimately racing. Like what if we took uh like a GT3 let's take a GT3 RS out at Laguna Seca. Oh, yep. All right. The interior is definitely nicer. Wow. The mirror, that's a trip. The interior is definitely nicer than the uh the 180SX that we were in. Damn, all right. God, one day, man, one day, I'm gonna see this view in real life. Just the fat GT3 RS wing behind me. Carbon, whoa, wait, what am I touching right now? Oh, I'm touching, I'm touching my whiteboard. That's like right where the glass would be that I see, so that felt real for a sec. Look at all that carbon fiber. All right, I'm getting distracted here. I don't know too much about Laguna Seca. Um, never driven it in real life, obviously. So let's just do a little lap driving around, taking in the, the beautiful scenery here, and then we'll try to do a little hot lap and uh, see how that goes. I do know that there's a lot of sharp turns. I've done a couple uh, races in this at Ocorsa, like one or two on this track, and there's one turn that always gets me. Something that helps in VR a lot is even with the motion sim, even with the, you know, the, the bigger monitor, the faster refresh rate, all of that, nothing can really convey the speed that you're going besides VR with the motion sim. Because I find myself constantly going too fast, because you don't feel like wind rushing past you or anything. Um, but in VR, it feels like I have a little bit, little bit more, um, feel of like how fast I'm going. Is it this turn? Yeah, this is the turn. That's the turn that always, always gets me. We survived though. We didn't go very fast. Again, I'm just feeling it out for now. Oh, I can't see this one too. I've ended up in that wall of tires so, so many times. And then I think we're what, a little over halfway couple more turns until we're back at the start. The GT3 RS is like known for handling in real life, right? So like in theory, 
We should be able to take those turns pretty fast. I've just like never driven this car in real life, so I don't know what it's capable of. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit too fast there. All right. The chances of us making it through this lap without crashing are very slim, but we are gonna try. Three, two, one, go. I want to push myself, but not too hard. So there. Ooh, traction control is saving me right now. Thank you, traction control. Oh my god. All right. Is a Seto Corsa, like, realistic enough in the sense that there's, uh, like, your tires heat up to get grippier? Like, how in-depth does a Seto go? And also, in case you're new to the channel or you don't know anything about me, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know when you're supposed to brake. I don't, I've never raced before in my life. But part of the reason I got this sim is to learn all of that. And I think you're supposed to brake early, then turn, but not brake and turn, right? And then just give it gas at the end, like as you're getting out of the turn, okay. This is the one? Nope, that's not, uh, that's one of them. Are you allowed to cut that? Because I cut it! Because I have noticed when I brake and turn, is when you get some little sketchy slides going on. Versus if I brake and then turn, it feels like the car is pretty planted. Ah, uh, that one's hard for me. God, that sounds good. All right, one more lap. I'm gonna try everything I've learned. So we're gonna brake, downshift, and let off the brake, turn, let off the brake, turn, gas. No idea if I'm doing this right. Same thing up here, brake, let off the brake, turn, Gas. It feels like I'm doing something right. Brake. Turn. Gas. Yeah, it feels like the car is planting itself, um... Planting itself on the ground more. Oh, see, except for there. There I got... I got a little too cocky with how late I could brake. I guess that's racing for you, though, huh? This is cool. I guess I, I got to, like, utilize the VR more. I have to, like, look around and, ooh, you know what I want to try? I got an idea. We're doing the public no hezzy server. You guys have seen me do it with the new sim, but never in VR. Let's take out... Let's take out the X5M. I've never really been interested in this car in real life, but that thing looks good. Did you... Okay. Tell me I'm not tripping. Did you just hear a shit? Dude, I got money. Oh my god, I got bands in the front seat. Hold on, what is going on here? I'm sorry, sir. Wow, hold on. I got stars on the ceiling. I got money in the passenger seat. This thing's kind of sick. This thing's super sick. Oh my god, it sounds good. All right. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is good fun. Hey, buddy. Okay, I will admit though, this thing feels like a boom. It's a heavy, it's like a SUV. So you can see it's just This thing is tossing me around. Damn, the uh, the quality in here looks better than the other cars actually. This is crazy. <laughs> Alright, we got a big boy coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me, my bad. Oh, we got an accident up here? Someone doesn't know how to drive or what? Learn how to, dude, learn how to drive, idiot. My God, don't tell me there's another crash up here. What happened over here? Where's homie at? You have to make the sound effects. It's, uh, it's crucial. Yep, yeah, all right. Oh, he's- he- dude, what is this guy doing? What are you doing? Bro is all over the place. Bro is stressing me out. Oh, not the pre- No! I gotta pass- I gotta pass this man! Oh! Go! <laughs> oh, he's behind me now? I'd rather him be behind me than in front of me. That was scary. Ooh. Ooh, 
Oh, can I make that? Oh, I think so. I can't make that. Not the Prius. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. That thing's kind of sick. The whole point of VR is to be able to look around and, like, admire things like the stack of money in my passenger seat. But I get so caught up in, like, in just drifting or in just driving. Like, I gotta, like, sit. The sun just magically set in four seconds. <laughs> Here. Dude, all of these like NPC cars are low-key kind of sick. Got that lowered A4. The range up here that also is that a I don't know the difference between a Range Rover and a Land Rover still, not gonna lie. That thing looks slammed as well, too. Oh, okay, he's back. This dude is a menace to society, bro. This man is gonna kill someone! I keep saying it, like one of the the biggest quote unquote downfalls for VR for me is the lack of quality. And the Quest 3 is exponentially better than the Quest 2, but you do still get some, like, pixels here and there, and it's, like, it's not gonna be on the level of, like, that monitor, for example, for a really long time. However, this is better. This is a big, big step for me, at least, and what I'm used to in VR. Because I've been, I've been filming for a while, and usually I get burnt out or, or nauseous or car sick or whatever, motion sick, pretty quick. I'm not really feeling it. I'm getting like hot and sweaty. That's about it. That being said, I'm like stressing out. I gotta, I gotta like pull over and stop for a second. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, I feel this is what the real world is like. Oh, okay. Well, my first VR experience with the new full motion simulator was good. I, I, I still think, I don't think it's better than the monitor. I don't think it's worse than the monitor. I think they complement each other well. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what, uh, let me know what you guys want to see next.